Hello everyone. Let us try to do a problem from our book. It's from page number 195 and it is talking about the modeling exponential equation functions. Okay. So let's take this example over here. So let me just, so here it is saying uh, sign is bank assets. The table shows the total assets in trillion yuan held in Chinese bank for the given years is 2000, that's 17 trillion, 2005, 41 trillion, 2007, 53, and so on. A says that find the exponential model for this data where t equals to zero corresponds to the year 2000. B, assume that model remains accurate and predict the total assets in 2018, 2021. Use a graphing calculator or trial and error to determine the first full year, year in which the total assets exceed 450 trillion yuan. Okay. So let me go towards GeoZebra and this will help us model uh, this data, okay? So let me type all the data points over here since uh, it is saying for t equal to zero means that would be um, year, right? So that would be zero. So let's write down this as x, this is y, okay? And here this is zero, uh, five, right? For 2005, for 2007, it's seven, 2009, it's nine, 11 for 2011, 13, and 15, okay? So the corresponding uh, <coughs> uh, monetary amount is 17, 41, 53, 79, 118, 151, and 199, okay? So once you do that, then uh, we need to select all of this data, okay? Select this data and click on this histogram like thing. Click on this and choose the two variable regression analysis. Okay. Again, first of all, select the data and click on this bar like thing and choose the two variable regression analysis. Okay. Then you get this scatter plot. Okay. So you can see that scatter plot over here. And now it is asking about find the exponential model, right? Okay, so here you could see that uh, it is asking about the exponential model. So let us go for that. So then uh, click on this non, okay, where you have lots of uh, modeling uh, functions like linear, log, polynomial, power functions, exponential, growth, trigonometric, and logistic. Okay, so let's go for exponential. Okay, then you can see that this is a nice approximation and this is the exponential uh, approximation for this data. Okay? And the equation is y equals to 17.3628 um, e to the power 0.1665x, right? So that is the data, right? So we got our model. Now we would like to um, solve these two problems. Okay, what will be the total assets in 2018 and 2021 if uh, the model remains same? So 2018 and 2021 means we can simply go in this way so here let's just simply write down 18 for 2018 and then you can see that that is 347.4335 trillion un you want right so that's for 2018 okay and then for 2021 you can simply write down 21 over here since we have assumed uh, x to be zero for the year 2000 right okay so 572.46 trillion you want so that is it. Okay, um, so this is how you try to uh, figure out the values. Okay, now let us go for the final question. It is saying that use graphing calculator or trial and error to determine the first full year in which the total assets exceeds 450 trillion yuan. Okay, we need to find when the first full year, the number of years, okay, um, after which the total assets will exceed 450 trillion yuan. So for that, we need to draw the, uh, we need to draw this graph in a separate uh, separate website, okay? So let's go for that. So let me just go for GeoZebra. Okay, and in GeoZebra, you just uh, plug in that value, which is 17.3628, y equals to 17.3628, 0.3628 times e to the power 0.1665x, all right? So let me just 
make sure that I have typed correctly 7.3628, 17.3628, uh, 0.1665x. So that looks good. And then since 17.36, that's the original, uh, that's the initial value. So this is the point. Okay. I think I should zoom out. And now, since we had to find out, we have to find out um, in which year the uh, assets will exceed 450 trillion, right? So this is 450. X is the number of years, right? So yeah, X is the number of years and Y is the assets, right? So that's why uh, for 450, let me just input the value Y equals to 450, okay? Since Y represents the, the monetary value, right? So here it is saying 19.549 for 450 trillion. So that's close to 20 years. So in, in the year 2020, the assets will exceed uh, 450 trillion. So this is how you can use the uh, GeoGebra spreadsheet. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.